Welcome to the Nexo tutorial covering security settings. Nexo provides flexible security settings for your website to enable you to control who can access your pages and who can add content to your pages. To access the security settings for your personal website, simply click on the user settings button. There's also a group settings button available for groups. Click on the sharing tab to indicate the permissions that are available on the website. The sharing tab includes a number of different roles that are defined. This includes permissions that are available to anonymous users. This is what users will see if they go to a Nexo page and they are not signed in as a Nexo user. You can also describe the permissions that are available for all Nexo users. That would be people who are signed into Nexo but who aren't necessarily defined as one of your friends. And finally, you can define permissions available to your friends so that you can provide broader access to your website and the capabilities within your website. Finally, you can define your own roles and assign people to those roles to provide additional permissions for special groups of people. In this case, for anonymous users, we can see that they have no access to your website. Pulling down the menu, we can choose to change this to provide reader access if it's desired to allow them to be able to see your website. At this point, all Nexo users are able to read your website. If desired, you can change the setting to no access, which would mean that they would not be able to access your website at all. Finally, the setting for friends enables you to indicate what friends are able to do. In this case, we can click on commenter to indicate that they're able to add comments to your web pages. The set of permissions that are available include no access, indicating that they cannot access the website, reader, indicating that they can read your pages but cannot change any of the content, comment, indicating that they can both read your pages and add comments, author, indicating that they can add new content to the page, editor, indicating that they can edit the contents of the page, and finally owner, indicating that they have complete permissions to change the page. Simply select the appropriate level of access, save the settings, and your site will be updated to reflect those settings. In addition to controlling the overall security for your website, it is also possible to define more specific security for individual pages on your website. Simply click on one of your pages and click on the Page Settings button. The Sharing tab describes the permissions that are available on this particular web page. By default, the page will inherit the settings that have previously been set for the overall website, but if desired, you can change these settings for this particular page. It is also possible to set the page to be private so that nobody sees the page. This can be used if you're working on a page and haven't yet completed the contents of the page. If the page is shared, simply choose the appropriate level of access for each of the groups. In this case, we can allow friends to author new content on the page. Click Save, and the page will be updated with the new security settings. In some cases, you will want to control security for individual sections of information on a page that may be different from the settings that you want to use for the overall page itself. In this case, maybe the bookmark section, you want to allow more people to edit content within this section. Simply select Edit Section, choose the Sharing tab, and as with the page, you can set the appropriate settings. It defaults to the settings that exist for the page, or if desired, we can overwrite those settings to grant additional permissions to friends and save those settings. This is an advanced option, but allows you to have significant flexibility to set up security for your website, pages, and sections to exactly match your requirements.